those same virtues of um, integrity, loyalty, belief in your own principles is something that doesn't go over well when it's, when it's publicly demonstrated nowadays. There's always somebody there. The minute you voice a strong opinion nowadays, you are stepping on somebody else's ism, whether it be sexism, ageism, <laughs> there's a million of them. Because we live in an age of vested interests. One of the most astute comments I heard was at the time of the at the time of the Quebec uh, referendum that almost went anti-Canada, P.J. O'Rourke, the American humorist, was here in town and he was interviewed on CBC and I was driving somewhere and I heard him. And he could not believe in the first place that the tail could wag the dog as much as, it was, as was happening in Quebec at that time. And he said so in no uncertain terms. But he also said something that really struck me. We live in a society that is supposedly founded on the rule of law. And the rule of law says, these are the laws, this is the law, and if you infringe upon it, you'll be punished, irrespective of who you are or what your motivation was. By the rule of law, you will be punished for infringement. He said, that's no longer the case. We now live in the age of special interest groups, vested interests, every one of whom steps forward with his hand out and says, I know that's the law and I understand what's involved, but I have a special case here. I should receive a dispensation. And the moment you start recognizing that outstretched hand with its plea for special dispensation, you've destroyed the rule of law. You've given it over to the rule of expediency and the rule of the loudest lobbying voice. And the rule of law has to suffer by definition and by extension.